Shalom family. I wanted to talk to you guys about the vain use of God's name. And of course, most people go to, you know, saying the Lord's name in vain, which would be cussing, you know, saying GD, saying OMG, saying stuff like that. And absolutely, we shouldn't use those terms. And even if you hear someone famous, which, you know, a couple of my stalker walkers, I'm praying, you know, you did delete that. So obviously what I said got to you. So glory be to God for that. But yeah, just because Lil Wayne says it or, you know, somebody that we grew up listening to says it doesn't mean that they're using the Lord's name in the right way, even if it seems that way. But it's a way deeper meaning when it comes to the vain use of God's name, family. It's also claiming to be something that you're not. You know, claiming to know things that the Lord didn't tell you. You know, doing things like that is also the vain use of God's name because you're proclaiming something in God's name that God didn't tell you or God didn't say. But in the book of Ezekiel, the vain use of God's name is an example. There's many of the examples of it, but I thought that we could concentrate on the book of Ezekiel today, family, if you want to read with me. It's in chapter 22. Take the time to read the whole entire chapter, family, but I'm just going to focus right now on 13 through 31. Behold, therefore, I have smitten my hand at thou dishonest gain which thou hast made, and at thou blood which has been in the midst of thee. Can thou heart endure, or can thou hands be strong in the days that I shall deal with thee? I, the Lord, have spoken it, and will do it. And I will scatter thee among the heathen, and disperse thee in the countries, and will consume thy filthiness out of thee. And thou shalt take thy inheritance in thyself in the sight of the heathen, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. All they are brass and tin and iron and lead. In the midst of the furnace they are all, they are even the dross of silver. Therefore, thou says the Lord God, because ye are all become dross, behold, therefore I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem, as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it. So I will gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. Yea, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath, and you shall be melted in the midst thereof. As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof. And ye shall know that I, the Lord, have poured out my fury upon you. And the, Lord, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto her, Thou art the land that is not cleansed, nor rain upon in the day of indignation. There is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof, like a roaring lion raving the prey. They have devoured the souls, they have taken the treasure and the precious things, they have made her many widows in the midst thereof. Her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane, neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean, and they have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths, and I have profaned among them. Her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves ravering their prey to shed blood and to destroy souls to get dishonest gain. And her prophets have daubed them with the untempered mortar, seeing vanity and divining lies, or divining lies unto them, saying, Thou says the Lord God, when the Lord hath not spoken. Basically, just what I just said earlier, family, that's in verse 28. These people will claim that the Lord has spoke to them. They're chosen, they're special, they're this, they're that. And the Lord has never spoken anything to them. If it does not line up with the word of God, it is of their mere feelin like feelings, opinions. They're not of the light of God. They're of the false light of Satan. He's going to betray himself, and so is his children and family. You've got to be aware and test the spirits. Verse 29. 
The people of the land have used oppression, exercised robbery, and have vexed the poor and needy. Yea, they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. Verse 30. And I sought for a man among them, that they should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land, that I should not destroy it. But I found none. Therefore have I poured out my indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own way have I recommenced upon their heads, saith the Lord God. Hey, and guess what, family? He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever.